so last weekend you had this first presentation exercise where each of you talked for a few minutes and it was all recorded so how did you people find it had you done any such exercise before and since you had evaluated everybody else in the group so in general how did you find all the others because you can never find faults with yourself you can always find faults with others how did you find the others anyone remembers what scores were there so there were six attempts with uh, one to three marks what was the average score like nobody remember okay so <coughs> today what we are going to do is for proof editing <coughs> we are going to do one major exercise so that exercise is a one page print out we will be giving <coughs> distributing that to you along with a red sketch pen so even though la Last time we had discussed <coughs> that you should use a red pilot pen. How many people have got a pilot pen? Red pilot pen. Nobody has got. Good. See, one person has got. So sketch pen is a bit too thick for marking, but the marking seems prominent, so it cannot be missed. And why we have to use red ink so that it becomes becomes visible against black background because all other lettering is in black. So red cannot be missed out. So it is standard practice in proof editing to do all markings in red. you have to sit according to the sitting plan i hope that is clear because this exercise will involve group action for which we will have to hold the group together okay has everybody got the sheet and pens anybody who hasn't got okay so we start the exercise though this is not double spaced but there is enough space between lines okay so everybody has got this authors as proofreaders This is the title of the <coughs> write-up. So you go on marking the errors as you notice. First, you mark in situ, that is where are the error occurs, just above that. After you have gone through, now you again go through that you have not missed any errors. Then you mentally divide this into two halves, left half and right half. And whichever are errors in the left half, you mark again the. the lines have been numbered so you mark the total against that similarly mark on the right so you will get two columns of digits those you total and at the bottom it is written left right and total so finally you total full number of errors that is the exercise so you can start the first thing is you have to identify the error and mark them marking as per the standard is not important as long as you can identify the error finally you will learn the marks so don't uh, keep on referring to the marks so you will waste time you should be able to identify and count the error that is the first exercise later on you will find that these marks are actually convenient so i can see most of the people gazing up somewhere i think everybody has finished that those who are still working on it please just put your count on your paper whatever you have so far not a single try any more just put that count that is not important but what is important is whatever you have done so far just count the left and right and put the count there if you have followed the process properly that means wherever you mark in c2 You also mark the error on either left or right margin, and then just count the total number of errors that you have found so far, and put that count below in the space provided. Okay. Now in next five minutes, 
you just swap your papers with your neighbors we are odd numbers you just do a three way switch and look at things which your neighbor has done you have to convince your neighbor that the mistakes that the neighbor has not found out are actual mistake and be convinced otherwise that's the whole point so what is important is you consolidate your learning by discussing with your friends swap the swap the papers quickly don't hold on to your paper is not a contest so don't worry if your neighbor finds out too many mistakes more or whatever you are spending too much time in the act of swapping the idea is after swapping you read that correction done by your neighbor and comment on that whether you find any more errors or your friend has found more errors the act is not about swapping papers but about reading the swap papers and you need not sit quietly you have to talk to your neighbor to point out wherever errors are found This is a discussion session, by the way, not an individual assignment. You talk slowly, but you must talk. You must discuss. Hello. No more notings are to be made on that paper, by the way. Yeah, you don't have to modify anything because the submissions must remain the original submissions done by individuals. The point here is, you may use another piece of paper or notebook to note down any additional errors or whatever it is. This is not an opportunity to modify your submission, but this is an opportunity to share your thoughts with your neighbor. So do that, and on a separate piece of paper, you may just write the count of errors that you did not find, but your neighbor found, and the count of errors which your neighbor did not find, but you found, and another third count where both together found errors which none of you had found earlier. that's the whole point of this kiss you are not supposed to write anything on that paper i say oh you didn't write your name at all my god how do we i didn't ah this is i think silly but there are some people who have forgotten to write their name so name and roll number ought to be written somewhere please return back the papers to the original owner of that everybody has done that all right now people who have found between 0 to 5 errors please raise your hand only between 0 to 5 not more than 5 people who found between 6 to 10 errors please raise your hands 11 to 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 it's okay this is approximate count we'll do the count later 16 to 20 टू थर्टी फाइव एनी बड़ी वन टू थ्री फोर Four. Anybody more than thirty-five? <laughs> Four. Four people. Anyone who has found more than forty errors? One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody who has found more than forty-five errors? No, yeah. oh, more than forty. Oh okay. yeah, no, no. Since no. you are the loner, just tell us the number of errors you have found. Forty-nine. So. there is like statistical intervals we have taken of five errors and we can plot a histogram you can see the uh, mode is over here 31 is the maximum number of people found and distribution is un unsymmetrical because at the top it suddenly drops off but on the lower side it goes goes here so in any case what are the actual number of errors the actual number of errors is 
so we have a model answer sheet which probably we'll discuss next time and we'll explain no, no, no. we will we will put up the model answer yeah. sheet on the on the web yeah okay so actually uh, why do we need their submissions now you don't need them but the statistics is what we wanted yeah because i would like them to compare their answer sheet with the model okay. that they can do at home yes so all that you need to do is no homework but just for the sake of curiosity for nothing else locate the differences between the errors that you have found so please carry this paper back with you so that on the screen you can compare it and actually try to pay attention to errors which you missed and reason why you missed them that's the whole point uh fine we will now have i wanted to discuss the details of what this course is going to unfold but i'll do that next time because we are already at the end of our time uh, thank you so much except for those two friends who should come and identify themselves and write their names here thank you so much